from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the Great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. Welcome to Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. Well, this week we're checking out some of the new rainwear from Gill and why the pros put their trust in Gill Fishing. Then we're showing you how some of the top products in the fishing industry get up to the showroom floor as Wade Middleton puts some new Cabela's products to the test. After that, it's up to Oklahoma with Wade and Jeff Crete for some springtime bassin. But first, we're meeting up with Jeff Reynolds and Cody Levy as they spend a day on Toledo Bend Reservoir. You know, Toledo Bend, I believe, is like 75 miles long, and it fishes every bit of that. I mean, you could catch a fish anywhere on that lake. It's full of contours, ridges, humps, creek channels. Uh, you got bank to fish. You know, there's hay grass, full of hydrilla. Pretty much any style of fishing you want to do, you can do it at Toledo Bend. In my little experience that I had in the lake, um, I knew there'd be a lot of grass and a lot of timber. But Jeff had already been there a couple days. Uh, he told me all I really needed was a rattle trap and a, a Carolina rig. So he said there'd been a couple spots that he'd fished that he'd caught quite a few good ones on. So I was ready to go. You know, I met Cody through Carico TV. Uh, we worked together. You know, getting to, getting to fish with Cody was a lot of fun. And, and Cody's been kind of almost like a little brother to me. Uh, you know, somebody that I, you know, can kind of help out and, and show him some of the things that I know, which may not be a lot. But uh, on the fishing deal, you know, Cody's a good fisherman, a really good fisherman. He's still young, you know, hadn't seen a lot of different things. So, you know, being able to share some of the stuff that I know with him has been a lot of fun. If they won't bite this, then uh, you just load it on the boat and go home, because they ain't biting. When you're out there fishing and you're having a tough day, it, sometimes it's hard to stay motivated. So I told Cody, I said, hey, we got to have a little bet. And that's normally the fisherman's bet. A dollar on the first fish, a dollar on the biggest fish, and a dollar on the most. So I threw that out there and he jumped all over it, which, another deal, he will learn. Maybe not jump on them bets so quick next time. You know, one thing about Jeff is he will compete on anything. He will compete to, you know, walk faster than you or shoot, you know, shoot closer to the target than you on bow or rifle, whatever it is. And fishing is his bread and butter. You know, that's what he wants to compete in the most. You know, as we found this spot on our mapping, on our Garmin, uh, when we pulled up to it, we slowed down, we started idling where you could see the contours, where the brakes was. And as we were getting up to it, it was just unreal. I mean, there were shad everywhere. It's just a real long, long point that you, you really would not even know is there if you're just looking at any, any regular structure outside. If we had our traditional going, we had the panoptics, we had the down view inside view, and there is just bait everywhere. And Jeff and I are thinking we are about to get in right now. There's a good one. It's almost like tournament fishing, you know, even though we wasn't fishing for $100,000, we were fishing for a dollar. But it's just knowing that All that right. first fish, I'm gonna win a dollar if, you know, if I can get it in. Does our usual bet still count today, or is let's start after oh, this one? Oh no, let's start we gotta after go with our usual We're bet. We're gonna start the bet with the after this one, right? It's not a big one, but fun. You got, got him that time. Get him on in here. Look at the gut on that thing. He is chunky. All right, three dollars still in your name. You better hurry, Cody. Oh, I got another one. Uh oh. Oh. oh, that's a 10 pounder, ain't it? 10 pounder. Well, give or take six. Oh, that is, look at the gut on that sucker, though. Look at He's that fat, thing. ain't he? That's a good fish. That's what you're supposed to look like this time of year. Yeah. Another fat, healthy fish. Mm -hmm. There's one. Oh, he came off. My little cousin can jerk harder than that. Oh, hush. I mean, you gotta put something into it. There's one. Finally. I don't think he's very big, but I will take him. Oh. 
Ooh. Yeah, he, he's a little, a little chunky for his size, I feel. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, Lordy. All right, see you, little fella. We'll be right back with more action from Toledo Bend. All right, now I got my mojo going, so you better look out. Fish on! Come on, get together. Gill that I've used for the last five years has been a far superior product than anything else on the market. The main thing that's really important to me is me being dry. I've been wearing Gill suits now for three years and never once have I gotten wet. What I love about the Bradley Smoker is that it cooks everything perfectly and it holds all the juices in. So today we are going to be smoking some barbecue ribs, some venison sausage, and some dove, which is awesome. You will never grill me doves again. <laughs> I have to have them in the Bradley Smoker. I would prefer to use the Bradley Smoker every time I cook. <laughs> well, that's really true because I love this thing. Okay. No lie. For more recipes, log on to bradleysmoker.com. Engineered to excel, the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real-world advantages and exclusive features. Experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. At Yamaha, reliability is a family tradition. Meet the next generation. Four new advanced technology inspired inline four cylinder performers. Bred from the reliability and boater satisfaction that is part of Yamaha's DNA, they prove that when power gets lighter, faster, stronger, and smarter, boating gets even better and more satisfying for boaters like you. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Cabela's. It's in your nature. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Today, Jeff and Cody are out fishing on one of the most famous bass fishing lakes in the nation, Toledo Bend Reservoir. You know, the boat we were in today, uh, Cody brought down Wade's Z521C, the Taj Mahal bass boats. This thing has got every bell and whistle that, that you can get on one. And I don't need to tell you how good they are. I mean, the name speaks for itself. It's a ranger, well built, fish is good, runs good. They're the top of the line. They are the elite. Come on up in here, little feller. You know, one neat thing that Garmin has is the pan optics, and it is changing the game, especially fishing hydrilla. When you're fishing all them turns and bends, you can point your trolling motor and you can actually see where the grass is at. It's not guessing that straight this way is the, is the cast I need to make, it's straight this way because I can see it on my pan optics. And if there's a school of fish out in front of it, I can actually see them fish out in front of it. I can watch my bait come back to the boat. I can see if fish are following it. All right, Jeff. Three to four, all I need is a big one or more tired. Can I start fishing now? <laughs> oh, oh, can you start fishing now? Jeff and I were each throwing the Cabela's Tournament ZX rods uh, with the Arachnid and Verano reels in there. And something that I found was, was pretty key was also making very long casts over to this point, which we were able to do with ease with all our setups that we had. You know, throwing the, the ZX rods have the perfect amount of backbone for what we were doing at the time where we could launch it way far out there, but it still had a tip that we could feel every rock that we were passing over, which I thought was, was key in getting those bites. Beat down, about to get serious now. No, I'm not worried. It's a good, thick, healthy fish right there. All right, next one catches one, we're done. Does Go that ahead. count for two? No. Because if it counts for <laughs> no. two for you, you win, but it counts for two for me. I can't lose either way. 
I'm ahead can. by one. Yeah, so if it, the next one counts for two. It's not going to, though. Let's do that. No, let's not. <laughs> next one count as two? All right. No. Huh? Do you want me to say no to All it? All right. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> there we go. That's. I think I'm only done by one now, right? Oh no, that looks. Like good. I, I think I got another one. Oh. Oh, and he, that little guy's worth two, ain't what he? What happened to him? He got caught. He got caught. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cody. It has been a fun day. Yes, it Not has. the best fishing day in the world, but hey, we end up catching what? 10 or 12, yeah. something like that? Yeah, definitely a good day. That sure beats sitting at the house. Yeah, today's one of those days where I just, you, you can't ever say one last cast because then it turns into five. <laughs> I don't want to get head in. Just like we said, as soon as somebody catches another one, we're done. <laughs> we're back and to And I'm already making another cast. But no, we really do need to get across the lake before it gets dark. Yeah. Gill exists to simply make the best marine wear available on the planet, so you can enjoy your time on the water to the fullest. Now, let's check out some of Gill Fishing's newest products that'll keep you warm and dry on the water. Hey guys, we're fixing to go fishing today, and it's, uh, it's one of those days for me, it's really tough to dress for. It's about 20 degrees to start off, and it's going to get up close to 60. And uh, you know, the whole thing for me is I don't want to sweat, and I dang sure don't want to get cold, because if you get cold, you're headed to the house. I'm going to show you kind of how I layer up, uh, especially on a really cold day. First of all, you have to start with a good base layer. You know, this is just Gill's uh, base layer. Uh, on a really cold day, like 20 to 40 degrees, this is how I layer up. And I put the base layer, and then this is the crosswind suit. This is just kind of a, a mid layer, it's what this is called. And this is the jacket, just like that right there. And I can put this on. And I can actually fish out of this and be very comfortable on a warmer day. So I'll start with this, and then I'll put, you know, the good uh, FG21 rain suit over the top of that. This is something that came out new for Gill this year. It has a couple of really cool features. The main thing is the hood. You know, a lot of times when, when I love to fish in the rain, but I hate to move around in the boat during the rain because that's when you get wet. You just can't control that hood. So they've made this where it act, the air actually passes through it and it pushes the hood up. But I can run 60 miles an hour and the hood will stay up and, I'll, and I stay dry. And that's important, especially in the wintertime. As a fisherman, you can't have enough pockets. I mean, you got a side pocket there. Actually got two pockets on each side there. One of the important things when you're out there fishing is this cuff. You know, I have a double cuff there. I can cinch this up, tie it down around my wrist. Then I have another cuff over the edge there. I can cinch it up tight and stay warm. But, you know, it's just another thing that Gill's made, you know, to keep me on the water, keep us all on the water, because you can't go fishing if you're not comfortable. By testing every product both in the lab and on the water, Gill makes sure all products deliver. Stick around to meet up with Wade Middleton as he spends some time testing some of the latest and greatest fishing gear from Cabela's that's yet to be seen on any showroom floor. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. You put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. Ooh, bu -bu 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 blade. Bu -bu 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 blade. The Bubba Blade is the ultimate sportsman's knife. For fishing. One cut and you're through, guys. Kind of like butter. Just like butter. 
hunting. You can see it just took that right off. Camping or just carving up meat at the barbecue. If you've got a sportsman in the family, they're gonna wanna have a Bubba blade knife. The super sharp edge and the large patented handle that gets sticky when wet makes the Bubba blade the perfect sportsman's knife. The handle protects your hands from the blade and the trigger grip and thumb pads let you have total control of the knife. The Bubba blade comes in different styles and sizes to fit the need of every sportsman. So whether it's for the boat, hunting, camping, or just for slicing meat at a barbecue, the Bubba Blade is the ultimate knife for the sportsman. Go online at BubbaBlade.com to order your Bubba Blade today. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. Heavy duty, rugged, and designed for the big game hunter and angler. The Food Saver Game Saver Titanium Vacuum Sealer has the power and performance to seal in the freshness of your game and fish for up to three years, five times longer than standard storage methods. And with its extra wide dual and repetitive sealing capabilities, that's a ton of big game savings. Tough tested and rated 4.8 out of five stars by outdoorsmen just like you. The Food Saver Titanium System, it's a true game changer. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy, Big Bite Bait, designed to bring the big bite to your line, and by Gill, respect the elements. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We're joining Wade Middleton as he shows us how some of Cabela's trusted fishing products get out of manufacturing and into your hands. You know, when I look at all the different Cabela's branded products out there from the hunting, the fishing, to the, you know, outdoor categories that are out there, it's exciting to see all that innovation and know what's going on behind the scenes. You know, I look at, you know, testing me not crankbaits right now and seeing how they're going to perform, looking at the new XML rod series, and then you start looking at all the clothing opportunities that fishermen are wearing out there. And, you know, right now I'm, I'm field testing a, a, a new sweatshirt, so to speak, that's going to be designed for a lot of the conditions at the weekend angler all the way to the tournament angler, the serious guy is going to be dealing with out there and finding out is it comfortable, is the hood going to work out there, uh, is it, you know, the drawstring's perfect, how's it going to hold up in durability, what's it going to be like under light rain or high, you know, windy conditions and that's what the Cabela's Pro Staff does to help the Cabela's field testing program really ensure that you know, once we go through the products we've had a chance to look at, that they're going to be stamped with, a, for lack of a better word, a seal of approval that they've stood the test out there, they've performed in the field, and now they're ready for the consumer. They're ready to be on the shelf, they're ready to be in the catalog, and they're ready to be on the dot coms. Oh, I think it's cool when they have those little dots right there on their mouth. I always like that. <laughs> oh, he's even got dots on his tail. He's part redfish. <laughs> That's so cool. Thank you, buddy. What you learn when you're out fishing and trying new products and doing different things is, is you know, ways to enhance your own fishing for the future and, and not only the products. And, you know, you look at a wide range of crankbaits and then you tie them all with a certain kind of line and how they're going to perform there. And then you tie them all with a different kind of line. You fish them on different rods, you fish them around different cover. And by doing so, you begin to, to tell what a product's going to be able to do. You know, we're fortunate to get a lot of them first before they, long before they ever hit the market to be able to go out and play with them. That's how you want them to eat it. God, look at that fish. You got to have a good set of pliers. Boy, look at that. Yeah, this fish here has been cold. See that finger mark right there where my finger's coming through? That's where a cull ring from a tournament. Somebody got rid of a good one. <laughs> Go back. You know, this bait that I'm throwing, it's the Cabela's Mean Eye. And it is, there's several of them in this series, but this one here is designed for this water that i'm fishing right now about two to five foot deep and it's got a great action covers covers a lot of water with you know that type of action that just enhances a strike makes them want to strike makes them want to bite and that's what you're looking for when you're fishing shallow you want something that's going to look like a bait fish a, a shad or 
you know, a crawfish, something that's darting and div, you know, jigging and wigging and making all kinds of moves when it's going through the water because that's what a bait fish does. It triggers that predatory reaction and that's basically what happened right there. You know, when it comes to actually putting a rod and reel combination to the test or a bait or anything, you've got to try it in more than just one or two applications to find out if it's going to work. I look at this you know, flipping rod that I've been testing as part of the Cabela's field testing program right now. I've, I've now fished it in a lot of different situations. I've, I've flipped up around boat docks. I've gotten into some heavy cover of reeds and caught fish with it. And, you know, now I look at it and I'm, I'm out here flipping and pitching with a half ounce weight around deeper brush. And, you know, that's going to tell me, is it going to have everything that I'm looking for? Is it going to have that sensitivity? Can it handle braided line and, and, and not blow up? Is it going to be able to have that sensitivity and backbone that a guy needs when he's out flipping. So, you know, those are those applications that can't be done in just one trip. They've got to be done in multiple locations and multiple times so that, you know, when it comes time to give your feedback, to fill out the feedback on this, to get on those conference calls, you know that you can talk with confidence and education from time on the water with it. You know, there's a lot to be said for all the technological advancements out there. Uh, but you also have to understand that you've got to use them in the proper manner to, to maximize them. You've got to get out and play with them. Understand that every time you go out, it's going to be a little different. And then trust your fishing instincts as you always do. And if you'll do all that, you're simply put, you're going to get more bites. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Look at that one right there, boys and girls. Good one! Coming up, we're heading to Lake Murray in Oklahoma to meet up with Wade and one of his longtime friends and Elite Series pro, Jeff Creed. Kayaks provide the ultimate lightweight fishing platforms that will offer anyone what they want when it comes time to hit the water. Hobie Kayaks' commitment to innovation, quality, and owner satisfaction is unparalleled in the industry. So when it's time for you to go kayaking, remember there's only one name to remember, and that's Hobie Kayak. I finally busted the method I had in. The angle high performance cooler. It's incredible. Just look at this lid. What a powerhouse. It's so freaking strong. So reliable. I just want to boom. This silicone gasket's better than rubber. Why, hello there. Are your base and side walls way thicker for superior insulation? Oh, yes. After 10 days, still cold, still fresh. Let's hear Yeti do that. With angle coolers, it's official. The Yeti is busted. When I talk about Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm gonna use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works, it works, dude. There's two things between an angler and the fish, the sun and the bugs. Sawyer's line of sunscreens and bug sprays keep you focused on the fish. Sawyer's Stay Put Sunscreen Formula bonds with your skin for a more comfortable and better level protection. And Picaridin Insect Repellent will only harm the bugs, never your fishing gear. Also, Sawyer Permethrin repels and kills on contact over 55 species of insects. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there. 
Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin has been brought to you by Hydrowave, ignite a feeding frenzy, Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife, and by Arctic Ice. We put the cool in coolers. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We're joining Wade Middleton and Elite Series Pro and Cabela's Ambassador, Jeff Crete, as they venture up to a lake they grew up fishing in, in Oklahoma, Lake Murray. It's been probably 10 years it's since I fished with you on Lake Murray. Last time we came up here, we fished a Tuesday night derby. You caught every bass, I didn't catch any. You gonna let me at least catch one this time? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you where to throw. <laughs> you told me last time I didn't catch them. <laughs> we got paid though. <laughs> we got paid. You know, we're, we're in Oklahoma right now, and, and uh, generally, you know, once that water starts hitting around here in the, you know, kind of the high 50s, and it starts touching that 60 degrees, they're thinking about spawning. And once it hits 60 and gets in that 60 to 65, it's, it's time. I mean, it's time to fish, and it's time for the fish to spawn. For Oklahoma, mid-April is about as good as it gets. That's my mouth. Yeah. They're just pretty in that water like that. It's a... oh. <laughs> he called that one too. He even told me, he said, there will be one. I even let him cast out there ahead of him. Nice one. Good one. Good one. God, it's pretty in that clear water, isn't it? Never gets old. Ugh. Never gets old. It's fine. You know, I mean, oh, look at there. Somebody else's worm. <laughs> well, I'm like, I, dude, you're either cheating because I didn't see him tie that on. I said, he, could, he yeah. didn't tell me about look that. At that. <laughs> Obviously, you're not very smart. <laughs> look at that, would you? I saw wow. that bike come out of there. I said, nah, you didn't tell me about that. You've got to slow that. down, fella in the spring of the year like this, when I know it's a spawning type deal. They're either, in my mind, I'm fishing for a fish that's coming, going, or is spawning. So for me, soft plastics are, are pretty much my go-to bait. Big Bite has a full line of soft plastics. They have, they have every, they make everything. You know, this time of year, like on this lake right here, uh, one of my favorite things to do is, is uh, you know, I like to just throw a little shaky head worm. I'll throw the squirrel tail worm. I like a green pumpkin, and I dip the t just the tip of that in, in chartreuse. You know, when a fish is spawning, a lot of times, you know, he's really not in the mood to eat anyway. And with the with the soft plastics, you know, I can rig a Texas rig, and I can just drag it around real slow. And if it, if I'm fishing bushes or something, you know, I'm going to cast between the bushes. And with the soft plastics. You know, I can drag it between the bushes, and you know, I'll slow down when I get in those areas that I think there would be a bed. You know, it's so fun to come out with Jeff and go fishing. We we you know talk on the phone often, and we we always try to plan trips. But the the older we get, the sad part about it is the busier we've gotten, and we used to make a lot more time to just go fishing. So to come back here at the time of the year when it when it's one of my favorite times to go fish on a lake that we've got a tremendous amount of history is a lot of fun, and watch him and how his in-depth knowledge of a fishery and how a great a technical fisherman he is to present the bait in the right spot and shake it out there and whack some big ones. Oh, oh big one. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, Lake Murray. Oh, big one. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, is there? I might have to grab him for you. You got him? Ooh. That's a good one. I don't think you're losing the local advantage anytime soon. I may see this all day long, but that's okay. That's pretty, dude. I mean, like at Lake Murray, you might you, you used to could have maybe fish for all year long. Too. All year long, it got a coal ring on it. <laughs> you're not calling that one very often. <laughs> dude, that's a freaking good one. For any additional information on this show or any previous shows, visit AmericanaOutdoors.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time on Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production.